Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we're going to take an in depth look at the Thermapin 1 Instant Read Thermometer. <laughs> Back in February, we reviewed the Thermapin Mark IV, and there was only probably one thing we could think of that would even make this better. Yet here we are with the Thermapin One, and they've come out with some improvements that I think we're really gonna like. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna unbox this, show you what's inside, and we're gonna give you a head-to-head -head comparison of the Thermapin One versus the Thermapin Mark IV. So let's see what's in the box. It starts with a manual on the Thermapin, so we have the Thermapin 1 manual, as well as the operating instructions. So manual, operating instructions. Now the certificate of calibration tells you who issued it, when it was issued, as well as your serial number. But this is something that you'll want to keep. One of the things that's nice about this is that this comes with a five-year warranty and uh, this will help you if you ever need to make that warranty claim. Now, as you read the operating instructions, one of the things it says is that the Thermapin 1 will read to within one degree Fahrenheit of the actual temperature of an ice bath within one second. Now, reading, it says reading times and other foods may vary slightly, but an ice bath within one second. So we're going to put that to the test today because it comes right on the operating instructions and let's see if it's right. And then there's the Thermapin itself. As we pull it out of the packaging, you'll notice that there is some uh, plastic over the display telling us what to do. It says, please remove before use. It says display resolution of one degree or 0.1 degree and scale Fahrenheit or Celsius were factory set. Consult your instructions to change those. So we'll show you how to change those here in a little bit, but we can go ahead and take that off as we get started. So, this is the Thermapin 1. This is the Thermapin Mark IV. So let's start with some of the things that are the same between the Mark IV and the Thermapin 1. One of the things that's the same is that they're both waterproof to a IP67 rating. Now that means that they can be submerged in up to a meter of water for up to 30 minutes. Now for me, I don't plan on submerging my Thermapins for a half hour in water. But I do like to know that if I get them wet while I'm out cooking, that these are going to be fine. So I like that they both share that rating, and it just gives me peace of mind to use it in the rain, in, in sauces, in all different types of environments where I might be worried about something getting wet. I don't really have to with the Thermapin, which is great. We've yet to run them through the dishwasher, and we've also yet to try underwater grilling, so I think we'll be okay. Both units also have a motion-activated display. So when you have the Thermapin open and measuring temperature, if you set it down for a period of time, it will auto turn off, but as soon as you pick it back up, it will auto turn back on. I like that feature. It's something that comes in handy when you're out temping multiple types of meat on the grill over an extended period of time. One last similarity is that it has an auto rotating display. So whether you're using it horizontally or whether you're using it vertically, either way, you'll be able to read your temperatures. Now let's talk about some of the differences between the two. With the Thermapin Mark IV, you could get a reading in two to three seconds whenever you put it into an ice bath. With the Thermapin One, you can get that exact same reading within one second. So that's one of the differences between the two is that this is lightning fast. I already thought this was fast, but this one's fast. Another difference between the Mark IV and the Thermapin One is that the Mark IV is accurate to within 0.7 degrees Fahrenheit and the Thermapin 1 is accurate to within 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So even more accurate than the Thermapin Mark IV uh, to within half a degree of Fahrenheit. Another difference is that the Mark IV comes with a two year warranty and the Thermapin 1 comes with a five year warranty. So you have two and a half times the warranty on the Thermapin 1 in comparison to the Thermapin Mark IV. Another difference is the backlight on these two units. The Thermapin Mark IV has an intelligent backlight, but the Thermapin 1 has a brighter backlight that is more responsive. So let's talk about accuracy. Here's both Thermapins open, measuring the air within about an inch to an inch and a half of each other. 
And as you can see on the displays, they're reading the same. Now, another difference between the two is the colors that are available. The Thermopin Mark IV has been clearancing out over the last couple of months, and you can get it for $69 at the time of this recording. Now, there are still a few colors available for the Thermopin Mark IV, but the Thermopin I comes in up to 10 colors, and so you can get one that matches almost anything you want. And the last difference I want to point out is something I mentioned at the beginning of this video. It's just easier to access the settings on the back. All of the settings are accessed inside the battery panel, and there's more real estate here than there is here. So we're going to go ahead and open these up and show you what they look like inside. So as you can see right out of the gate, the difference is significant between how you can control the Thermapen using the, the settings buttons on the back. With the Thermapen Mark IV, you have settings buttons that are super, super duper small that you almost need to use a screwdriver to change. And on the Thermopen 1, you have settings buttons that are easily accessible from the front with nothing hindering you getting in and out. You can also tell that the battery slot is dramatically different. This one goes in vertically, this one goes in horizontally, and this one was kept in with a pressure tension. This one's just kept in like you would have any other device. You can pull it out that way. So let's talk about the buttons on the back. If you press the M button, the M button will run you through the various menu changes. This is where you have CORF. If you press the uh, if you press the S button, it will take you between Celsius and Fahrenheit. If you press the M button again, it will take you to within one degree. If I press the S button, it will take you to point one degree. This is where you turn off the point, uh, the decimal part of your temperature. Uh, between a single degree and a tenth of a degree. If you press the M button again, it takes you to 360 degree display, and you can change that from 360 degrees to 180 degrees to lock in this orientation here. So if you have lock in this orientation, then you can lock it in any one of those orientations. I personally like 360 degrees, so I can see it wherever I'm using it and however I'm using it. And then the last is sleep is set to 30 seconds. You can change that to 40, 50, 60, 70. You can go quite a ways up on your sleep timer and turn the sleep timer even off. But default is set to 30 seconds, which is perfect for me. And then it says end and you're back to the uh, default. So that's how you control it. And if you look at 360 degree orientation that we talked about earlier, allows you to be able to rotate it any direction and still see your, your temperature setting. But that's how you control it, with the M and the S on the back. So we have them put back together, so now what we're gonna do is run some side-by-side -side tests with boiling water and an ice bath to be able to show you the differences between the two from a responsiveness and function standpoint. So let's go ahead and get that stuff ready, and we'll keep going. All right, we're gonna go ahead and run a side-by-side -side ice bath test. Here we go. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and run them individually. Here is the Mark IV. And here is the Thermapen 1. We'll go ahead and start with the Thermapen Mark IV. Now the Thermopin 1.
So we happen to be smoking a chuck roast today. So I wanna show you in a real world environment what these things do when you look at meat or on the grill. Here's the thermal pin one, and here's the mark four. Within a degree of each other, So there it is. There's our review of the Thermopin 1 and our comparison to the Thermopin Mark IV. Now the question is, is it worth it? I would say yes. If you look at the ice bath test, the Thermopin 1 was clearly faster than the Thermopin Mark IV just as they advertised. So if you can still get your hands on the Thermopin Mark IV, this one's being clearanced out for $69, which makes this a stellar deal. Up until the closeout sale, the Thermopin Mark IV could be had for $99, and the Thermopin 1 is being marketed at $105. So is it worth the $6 increase? I think so. If you're going to be buying one of the two of these, and I had the choice, I was gonna spend right around 100 bucks for either, would I buy the one for $6 more? Yeah, absolutely. Now, if I could buy this one for $69 still, would I go ahead and make the $69 purchase or the $105 purchase? I might take advantage of that sale while it's still going on, but you have to decide for you how responsive of a thermometer do you need. For us, either of these really work. These are both fantastic thermometers. I think Thermalworks got it right on the Mark IV, and they made the Mark IV better with the Thermopen 1. So the question is, can you still get your hands on a Mark IV for 69 bucks? Definitely, I'd do that. Do you want the best on the market, the best instant read thermometer that we've ever tested for the Thermopin 1 at $105? That's a great thermometer. So the real question comes down to you. Which one do you want? Which one would you rather have? And with the price difference right now, man, this one's a fantastic deal. But once this goes away and this is the only one that's available, I gotta tell you, this is the best we've ever tested. So the question is to you, which one are you gonna buy? Let us know in the comments down below which one you like and which one you're gonna use. I wanna say a special thanks to Thermalworks for sending us out a pre-release copy of the Thermopin 1 and giving us the opportunity to shoot this video. Now, Thermalworks didn't tell us what to say. They didn't even tell us to shoot a video. They just said, do you wanna try it out? So all of the things that we've said here are our own opinions and our own thoughts. This is not sponsored by Thermalworks. All it is is our chance to be able to show you what two great instant read thermometers on the market can do in real life situations. So if you wanna find one of these for yourself, we'll have links to the Thermopin Mark IV and the Thermopin 1 down in the description below. And if you make a purchase using either of those links, it just helps support our channel. And we say thank you so much for that. We're a self-funded channel. We don't get any huge checks from manufacturers that help keep us going. What helps keep us going is you making your purchases using our links. And we want to say thanks so much for supporting us. So that's been our review. The Thermopin 1 versus the Thermopin Mark IV. I want to say thanks so much for joining us. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Where our next video is going to be all about this outdoor kitchen that you see here behind us. And we can't wait to show you the entire thing in detail. And that's coming up here in just a few days. As well, make sure you follow us on social. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're out on all the social channels. And we'll let you know about sales that we're aware of in the barbecue world, as well as when we have a new review coming out. I want to say thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you next time. Back in February, we... February. 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 English is hard, folks. Back in February, we re... Ow. Ow. Gosh, that's hot.